You know, just a handful of days away from getting a chance to watch our Seminoles play out there at Doe Campbell, uh, and Doe Campbell Stadium and be able to see the new identity of this 2022 football team. And I'll tell you, I'm so excited about the steps that are taking place to get us to this point. Uh, as the first time I spoke to the quarterback club, I had a lot darker hair. These last few years, I've added a little bit more gray into it. But each one of those experiences, everything that we've had to go through, right, has helped build a foundation for an incredible future that's ahead. And as Michael mentioned, you know, the future is bright here in Tallahassee. The future is bright with our Florida State football team. But that starts now. It starts now. And the thing that I've been so pleased with is the investment in the work that I've seen from the young men that I get to coach. Yeah, you know, you touched on some of the returning production and, and some of the guys that are that are coming back and the, the work that is that has been done and the experiences that have been had. And, well, it's because we were one of the youngest teams in college football these last few years. And we've had to go through those experiences and, and you know, some good and some not so good. But there were lessons to be learned. And as we jumped back in January and started in our winter program. As we went through spring practice, as we got into summer, uh, summer workouts, and now just finishing up fall camp, right, our focus has been on consistency and application to all those lessons that we learned. For, for our players to go out and to truly embody the noble way in how we play, in what we do, the investment we're willing to make, and I'm so pleased in the results that I've seen over the last three weeks. Because I see a team that's, that's really come together right, with great returning production, with a lot of great newcomers. We had 14 transfers that came in. We, we ended up having, you know, I think we ended up being 26 newcomers into the program. Right, some tremendous players that have helped build our depth, that have helped, that have helped uh, come and add additions to those playmakers that we need on offense, defense, and special teams. But what I love is the, the, the mindset and the approach that they bring. Because when we talk about that in old way, and, and I've talked to, to many of you before, and you've heard, you, you've heard that the, the, the identity of how we want to play. Well, for us, it's about showing up each and every day and, and investing the building blocks of what's necessary for that to show up consistent, consistently out there on the field. Because the first way that we want to play is we want to play smart. We want to be a smart football team. And to be a smart football team means you've got to be disciplined. You've got to understand and embrace the challenge of doing things right. I mean, understand the importance of fundamentals and technique where the little things are what make the big things happen. And you see a team that, that, that truly has come in and they've embraced that approach. Because ultimately, if you, you, know, you talk about being a smart team, well, anybody that's come out to practice, anybody that's watched us work, you see bigger, stronger, and faster. We are that. But I want all of that to be working together, doing the right thing. Because you can be a 400 pound, a 400 pound bench presser, but if you're pushing in the wrong direction, you're not very strong. Right, you can run a 4-4. Well, if you're going the wrong way, you're pretty dang slow. <laughs> With all the right intentions, I mean, you can give great effort. But if you're not disciplined, if you're not in control of your emotions and your response, if you're not willing to play the game the right way, then with all the right intentions, you can hurt our football team. So we've got to be a team that plays smart. And what I love is our guys, the way they embrace that in, in, every, in every aspect. You know, Michael touched on the academic piece. Well, that's something that's important to me. Because our guys, I promise you, every single one of them, they love playing the game of football. Some of them don't really like, you know, some of those upper level math classes, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but I want them to understand that knowledge is the greatest talent that they have. And doing things that sometimes are uncomfortable, where that make them have to, to truly make an investment to be their best, I mean, that's where confidence is built. 
And I've been here for five semesters. And four of those five semesters, we've had the highest team GPA ever in program history. Jacksonville. And it's the fastest that I've seen this team play. 
It's the toughest that these guys have worked. And, you know, it do that doesn't come by just giving people hugs all the time. <laughs> it comes from having to go out there. And be willing to make yourself uncomfortable. And I challenge our players each and every day. Man, when you can be comfortable being uncomfortable, now you got a chance to do something. Because come Saturday night at 5 o'clock, we're going to have about three and a half hours just staring somebody down. And every play, the eyes are going to tell who's prepared. And to be honest with you, I don't care who we play, when we play, what, what the circumstance or the situation or the atmosphere is. But I want a team that crosses that white line, that you see it in their eyes, that there's nothing that can show up that's going to deny them for what they've worked to do in being their best. Because that is our objective, to be the best we can ever be each and every day and to continue to improve. Because I've seen... I've seen that steady, those steady steps. And yes, would I like to have a different record after these last two years? You're dang right I would have. But sometimes you have to go through what you need to prove you can get through. And this is a team that knows how to respond. They've learned how to work. Now they've got to do it consistently, day in and day out, play in and play out. And when you do that, and you do it with that mindset and that physical power and toughness. Then it's no longer just going out there and playing the game. It's going out there and inflicting your will on another person. And that's what this program is known for. Because when you put on that helmet, when you step across those, up, those white lines, you represent something special. You represent toughness. You represent passion. I mean, you represent something bigger than yourself. And as we've gone through this fall camp, one of the great things that, that, that I've enjoyed, whether it was our trip over to, to Jacksonville where we got away for a few days, you know, being able to have some past players, you know, Peter Bulwer came and talked, Charlie Ward came and talked. But being able to, Corey Simon came out and talked. Being able to hear them tell the stories. Everybody's got the stories about what happens on the field. But what I loved was hearing about the stories of who they got to do it with on and off the field. The relationships that are built. Right? Being able to connect our past players with the current ones. Because being at Florida State, and it is special. You know, as Jeff, as you're figuring this out, it's not because of just the color scheme. It's not because of the logo. It's not because it's just a really, really nice stadium. It's because of the people. And when you find those like-minded individuals that are willing to invest in each other, so that when you have a challenging day, when you have a challenging moment, you have somebody can pick you up and keep pushing you forward, that's when you know you can be, can be tough. Because you don't have to do it alone. You, somebody, you have somebody that's going to have your back in that moment. And that's what we're seeing from this team. That's what we're seeing from these young men. And I like the fact that when you walk out and you see our offensive line, you kind of you shake a little bit because we've grown up a little. <laughs> right? When you see those guys on that defensive front, when you watch the way that we, we fly around the football defensively, and it gets me excited because that, that, that physicality has to be a staple in how we play. And then lastly, we're going to be a football team that finishes. We've got to be a football team that finishes. And that's something that shows up. It doesn't just show up out there on the football field. It's got to be a part of what we do every day. Whether it's on the practice field, whether it's in the weight room, whether it's in the classroom. No matter where we go, man, that passion to be your best. To go out there and finish what you started and continue to get better, man, that's got to be our identity. I am so excited to watch our team play come Saturday. I'm so excited to see them continue to grow and take those steps. But it's not about a speech or, 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 a, or a highlight video or any of that. It's about just continuing to put in that work. 
And I appreciate you. I appreciate the support as we've had as we've gone through this at this process. Because I told you what I got here. We're gonna do this the right way. And we've had to set a foundation and expectation for what it needs and what it how we needed to do it and what it needed to be looked like. Because there's going to be a standard of excellence in all that we do. And that doesn't mean there's not going to be a mistake. That doesn't mean there's not going to be a bump in the road. But when you have that mindset and that character, that even in those challenging moments, after a challenging play or after a challenging quarter, and that you're going to respond. And that you're going to rise up. That you're going to finish what you came to do. Then you're going to see a football team and individuals that you can be proud of. And I believe we have that team. I'm really excited about this group. And yes, we have returning, returning players. We have exciting newcomers. What's amazing about it, we still only have eight seniors on our team. The future is bright. The future is bright. But this is not just about a singular event. No, we're building something. And these guys are investing in all aspects of their lives to live out that no way. So they're a football team that does play smart, that showcases discipline and details and fundamentals, which allows them to play fast, to go out there and make those incredible plays with all the God-given talent that they have to play confident. They're going to be a football team that plays physical because that's what, a, that's what Seminole is. And they're going to be passionate to finish because no matter what the circumstance is, how challenging the times get, we are going to rise up. We will be unconquered and we will finish what we started off to do. I'm excited to see this team and the identity be put on display. But I've really enjoyed watching this team work. I've, watched, I've enjoyed watching them come together. And I believe this is going to be a football team that you're going to be very, very proud to be able to stand, up, stand behind and support. And I appreciate all of you, and I look forward to seeing you come Saturday night. And I would encourage you, be there for the Legacy Walk. 245. Come see our young men. And show them that support. Because one of the things that we talk to them about on a consistent basis is you. Is you. Who they get to represent. Because that is the greatest thing about Florida State. It's the people. And I appreciate all that you do. You uh, appreciate the opportunity to come and, and be a part of this, this kickoff event. It's incredible to see so many of you here. We're going to make you proud this year by how we play. And I understand the expectation here. I understand what I need to do and what this team needs to do out there on the field. But what makes this special is how we do it is also important. And we're going to do it to the standard of Florida State and this incredible university and all that we represent. But thank you guys so much for having me. I'm excited about this year ahead.